There's the takedown from Walker. Big takedown by Walker to start Already things off. One take down. He wanted to let Top know that I'm here to beat you at your own game. Top working in his butterfly hooks, trying to get his knees inside. The fence is going to play an issue, but he does have a leg lock opportunity here if he can shift Walker up to his left. That butterfly half is real tricky. Walker elevating himself. He's giving away that big leg lock opportunity. Top not taking it. Instead, hugging the head. He's looking to shrimp out, find his base, and probably build back up. Walker looking to do a little ground and pound. As he should. As he's trying to advance. He has four minutes, bud. Ah, oh, right in the mount, Katakatami danger. Walker putting the weight on him. I can't quite see the arm as that looks like he's crossing it over. Top doing a good job of hiding it in front of his face, not letting it cross. So Walker in a great position here. Expect him to, to make some space and fire down big shots. Walker doing a great job of dominating position here. It's taken all this time for Top just to get back to his half guard, and that fence is not playing a favor to him. Top might want to bail on that head, look for his cross frame, and use that to shift his hips back to the fence to start working his stand up. Playing this hay guard, the scissor guard, is not gonna, gonna help him all that much outside of giving him the space he needs to proceed up. Oh. Ooh, big elbow. Walker takes it in stride and just Puts the pressure back down. Looking to advance. Can drop a few elbows of his own there. Walker doing a great job of controlling the situation. I preach to my students, control the position, dominate the position, then punish from the position. Trying to go too big too soon gives up space and the opportunity for your partner to escape. And Walker's doing a great job of not allowing Top that opportunity. Oh, that's some nasty position there. Walker trying to get the arm. Great slow over by Walker. Top catching the arm, pinning it, giving him the opportunity to now get his other arm free and take advantage of his top position and wrestle. And now Walker's had to abandon the arm. Eats a couple of shots. Very good job by Top getting back to top position, sprawling out Walker. But he needs to be aware of the size of the combatagon as his legs are reaching the fence rapidly. Great job circling out, giving himself more room to work, using that ankle pick to slow down Walker's drive. Oh, these are gonna be some heavy shots. Big shots by Top, good work. And Walker's hand being tucked under that arm is not helping. Oh, go behind by Walker. Takes the back, almost. Man, Top finally starts getting somewhere and Walker slips right out. That's what being sweaty will do for you guys. And uh, he's going to be looking for some payback in this position. Uh, full body triangle by Walker. Looking to do some damage on top with a minute to go. Top is on the wrong side of that triangle, but it doesn't matter. Walker fighting into mount. Looks like he's attacking the Katagatami. Top doing a great job of judging avoiding the arm. Nope, he's in. He's tight. He's got to push away. Look to bridge out. Making space. Good use of force here. Attempting the rollover. Huge elbows by Walker. Man, Walker really making the most of these positions. Top doing a good job defending himself. But right now stuck in mount. A bad spot to be in at the end of the first round. But I guess better than the beginning. Top's got to get work in here. This is not a good way to finish. Keep Last seconds. Active. 
Cobb did a good job of not allowing Walker to just posture and end the round with a barrage. It's better to get tired. It's better to get tired trying to avoid it than to just I'm let it here we go, edging into round number two. Walker with that same pressure, but top ready this time. He's on the chin, fought into the fence, tucking up. He might be in on a deep guillotine. That head is fully encapsulated. Top wants to lean to his right, shift the weight into that choke, bridge off his left leg, or cap that half guard. Walker's in a terrible position if, if Top can get his way back to a full guard or anything with some negative pressure. Oh, a rollover. Still stuck in that half, the head popping out. For top's sake, I hope he didn't juice his arms out on that squeeze. Good framing, way to recover full guard, controlling Walker's head. Walker did a great job executing ferociously at the beginning of the round, but once it hit the floor, uh, he definitely took his foot oh. off the gas a little bit, knowing that kind of pace would probably wear him down. Top scrambling out, finding the double leg, head in the armpit, no guillotine danger though. Walker looking for the stand up, Top circling to the back. He's on the neck, he's under the chin. Can he set the hook? Walker has freed his head. Walker fighting the hands. Fighting the hands, turning over, Top fighting for Top. Right to the back, oh, right to work Top, softening him up, excellent job, real grit in both of these gentlemen. Top probably feels the need to be really aggressive here, but the smart play is to, again, control the position. Get to work, get your score back, and take this round to even things up going into the third. Don't rush to finish or you will certainly miss it. Good one-on-one -on -one ride by Top, far side, letting him work on that close side. Every time Walker looks to build, you can see him opening up hook opportunities. Oh, Top's a little high, but he's got that arm, got to break down out of it. Good work pushing off the fence to recenter. And Walker Maintain slides out. Beautiful work by Walker. Top's gonna get those hands up. Act like he's been here before. Great shots by Top. Good pressure on the fence. Walker weaving in a knee on the entrance. Top splitting the legs on the right. He's ready to grip that high crotch on the right side if he can get his hands together. A little bit of posture break here. He's got to free the head. Underhook shuck by Walker, taking the back on the go by of top. Inside hip block, but he's got a full lace. It's going to be hard to adjust that leg out, but he's in a great spot to throw punches. Got to watch the back of the head. Yes, sir. Top again, working his way back to a full guard, closing it up, controlling Walker's posture. With just about two minutes left, this is a super close round. Whoever finishes on top is gonna take it. It's been too close for it to play any other way. A little short elbow. Good work with those short elbows by Top, looking to open stuff up on Walker. Little shots in the temple can really mess you up. And they definitely will cause a cut. Top's looking to boxing the ears. You wanna mess up a guy's equilibrium? Rupture that eardrum. You gotta stop giving out Mazik. And even though Walker's on top, Top is the more active fighter here. Yes. Just because you're on bottom doesn't mean you're losing. When he's in that closed guard, Top is able to uh, control away. that and chip away, yeah. Smart work by Top. You just gotta hope that the judges recognize what's happening here and, and you know scores accordingly. Oh, Top with a transition, attacking triangle, looking to break down the posture. Walker shucks it off. He's in a leg drag cradle position. Steps through, he does have a bit of Kimura danger. Top's just gotta clear the head. Walker with 15 seconds. In on the pass, giving up the half. 
top butterfly lifting, looking for a recovery. 10 seconds left in the round. Walker's gonna stay on top. Two hard fought rounds. Ooh. And a third upcoming. Oh, nice jab by Walker, good right hand. Definitely not wrestling like he did in the first two rounds. Checked both of those kicks. Good work by Top, really improving his striking. Hey! High kick missing. Top, a rise of the warrior OG. Having a couple kickboxing wins under his belt. Good use of the underhook, rotating Walker into the fence. Walker's gas tank seems to be a little suspect at the moment. Maybe this is the opportunity Top needed. There's that old saying, exhaustion makes a coward out of all of us. Nice knee to the body. Very nice. Walker is trying to bully it. Ah, great pummeling in here. A, a lot of the casuals aren't going to understand like exactly what's happening here. The kind of fight for position and how much a little bit of arm placement will change the dynamic. Getting juicy over here. Yes, sir. Foot stomp, always humorous. Walker with the big power twist, the directional change, getting another successful takedown. Top with that butterfly hook looking to shift him over. Walker maintaining balance, setting base, and settling into mount. <laughs> Walker definitely ahead on the cards at this point. If he maintains this mount for even two of the next three minutes, he's going to seal the deal. Top really, really, really needs a finish here. Whether it's submission or knockout, he has to get moving. He has to make Walker burn himself out and, and make a mistake for him to leave. These are big elbows. Huge elbows by Walker. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe he's got more gas in the tank. I'm sorry, Mr. Walker. I apologize. He's been hunting that Katagatami all night. Great pressure on that shoulder. Oh, and he's looking to cinch it up. They are super sweaty, though. Yes, sir. Maybe he's going to adjust for that one-armed Americana. Yes, sir. Top is out. And there's plenty of room to work. These guys can scramble at their leisure. But as you see, puddles of sweat in the Combatago. It's going to make it very hard to move. Or very easy. Back in the half, good work by Top. Shin shielding. They can move, they're just gonna slide around in place like on a slip and slide. If you remember the old King of the Cage, Wet and Wild? <laughs> they had an outdoor event and it rained and no one could stand. Top's gotta get a move on, man. He can't just hang out here. The half guard open. Walker's not really doing anything. He's got to make something out. He's a minute 45 for a finish. Great elbow by top from the bottom. I can't believe neither of these guys are cut with all the elbows that are just Yeah. Hit. Walker's certainly ahead on the cards right now. Been sliding around. <laughs> yes, sir. Though Top is having like a really hard time in this one, his grappling has improved dramatically over his last three fights. Uh, he actually wasn't out all that long ago with leg surgery or a broken foot. I remember seeing him in a cast a couple of Rise of the Warriors ago. But he's made great strides. His grappling's much improved. Just Walker's is a tall order. Closing 
seconds of this third and final round. Ryan Top finally getting his hips out from underneath him, making a move, looking to turn over. Walker settles him right back down, more than happy to finish this round in a good position. Oh, with some late shots. Gentlemen, yeah. the three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards, and your judges awarded your winner by way of unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Aaron Walker. Decision victory goes to Aaron.